Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Kirin was a happy, energetic, and adventurous child who loved his mother very much. One night, the herd was attacked by you. The wolf came, and Kirin was unable to escape, forcing his mother to lunge into the wolf's path to protect her son, killing her. Once Kirin realized what had happened, he was overcome with melancholy, which soon transformed into rage. He tracked down the wolf and tried to kill him, but to no avail. He began to request that the Wolf King train him to become a wolf so he could become powerful enough to defeat his enemies. After much persistence, the Wolf agreed. The Wolf King brutally trained Kirin for three years, turning the young lamb into an unrecognizable monster that had grown to care about the Wolf King as a father. This all changed when the Wolf had him attack the barn where he lived as a child. There he saw a young lamb just like him on that tragic day years ago. He realized what he had become and couldn't go through with it, causing him to fight with a wolf. Kieran killed you? By boring him in the chest, but to his surprise, this is what the wolf king desired all along, and he was glad that he was felt by the former. Even though Kieran had stopped the wolf, the herd no longer recognized him and was horrified, as he had become an unnatural beast. Realizing that he was no longer a sheep and that he had never truly become a wolf either, Kieran disappeared to the mountains, where only tales of his existence remained. He easily beat a group of dancers and a grizzly bear. He destroyed a tree with a single headbutt. He casually defeated an army of dark dogs, defeated the wolf king, and can easily destroy wooden structures, making him low level. An adult sheep's top speed is 11.176 meters per second, and Kieran is faster than any of the sheep in his herd. He's much faster than bears and panthers and is comparable to the wolf king. Wolves can run up to 37 miles per hour, making him superhuman. He survives many falls from heights that should kill him and can survive hits from bison and being pushed off of a mountain by weasels. He is courageous and tenacious. Kieran took in the Wolf King's knowledge and was able to mature past his revenge, even if he ultimately had to defeat the Wolf King anyway. He has become dominant over all predators in the animal kingdom and has a good tactical sense and ability set thanks to the Wolf King's teachings. Some of his moves would be more effective if he were a natural wolf. He likely can instill fear in other predators. Overall, even without flaws, Kieran is still a fierce predator in the wilderness. Grogar is an evil demonic ram sorcerer and the leader of the kingdom named Tantalon which is also the realm of darkness. He conquered the tribals at once, built only one with an iron hoof 500 years ago before he was defeated when the ancient bell was run. This banished him and the city to the Shadow World. However, Grogar swore that he would return in 500 years to retake Tomyland. Over time, the memory of Grogar and his reign over Tomyland became forgotten from history and were only told as a legend at Paradise had heard about. He captured nearly all ponies in Ponyland, including the immensely powerful Flutter Ponies, who are implied to be above the power of regular ponies, which would include Twilight, who created some stars to make the empty dark sky bright enough for everyone to see better, and Majesty, who created the Cancer Constellation, making him multi-galaxy level. 
He has been able to flip the ponies and travel to the stars above. Majesty's creation of the Cancer Constellation took a short amount of time, making him massively faster than Light Plus. He was able to leap from great heights and land without injury. He hit the ancient bell in a different part of his castle so that nobody could use it against him and after he learned of Brock's betrayal, he set up a trap to capture the rest of the inhabitants of Ponyland. Grogar can be clumsy, as shown, when he got stuck in a tree after charging a group of ponies. When the Bell of Freedom is run, Grogar's Bell, containing his power, will be destroyed and vanish him along with a whole city of Tantalum to the Realm of Darkness. Overall, even with those flaws, Grogar is still a powerful and fierce man sorcerer. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. Actually, this is the second time that I'm skipping this and going straight to the conclusion that I'm sorry. This is once again another stun. Grogar just has made two powerful stats for Kieran to handle. So now about we talk about something different and discuss the outcome if both characters were equal in stats? Looking at it from that point of view, who wins then? Well, while Kieran is more skilled in combat, I would still have to say Grogar wins due to the fact that he has magic. Next time on Total Fight Time! Kool-Aid, 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 Kool-